Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy. I am happy to be here today with you guys. Uh, thank you, big ups, before I start to all the new subscribers that jumped in. Um, you couldn't have joined a, a better community, a growing community. Uh, got a lot of great people here. And a lot of people here that are serious about building wealth. So if you are someone starting on your journey or you're already there and you just hope to, uh, you know, uh, keep some positivity in your life and, you know, keep people, people that's going to keep you accountable and keep you on track for your goals, you're in the right place. Uh, those of you just joining, uh, consider becoming part of the community and um, hitting that like button if you like the content. Uh, check out all the videos. And check out our wonderful community. Uh, if you like it, give us a subscribe and hit that bell notification so that uh, you don't miss a video. Okay, today we're going to be talking about uh, BitTenser and uh, some change, some a really big, dramatic change in the uh, price of BitTenser. Going to talk a little bit about why I still feel like this is a great investment opportunity, though steep. And how you don't need a lot of money just to uh, to get into it. Uh, look at it as is if you you have found Bitcoin at a price like this. That's what we're going to be talking about. But before we do, I'm start off with my. Um, this is the first video of the day, of course. So I have to start off with my um, my saying or my affirmation, my positive affirmation, so that my day is always going forward in the right direction. All right, let's do this. To manifest wealth, I put into action the required wisdom. It's that simple, people. And if you've said that, or if you've even spoken inside, you've already put in the required wisdom by clicking on this video. So with that, we're going to get this party rolling. All right, guys, let's go. All right, let's talk about BitTenser price action. Look at this price. $644. Now... Nine days ago, and I know this because before, when I got on here and I looked at this, I said, wow, I just talked about this. I went back and I looked at some of the uh, some of my top AI plays that I was, uh, you can go back and look at the video for proof. I did, uh, I believe it was my top three AI plays that I said on um, that would possibly bring some really good gains, at least in my opinion, not financial advice. And BitTenser was down to like five hundred and forty-one or forty-three dollars. And I remember I was telling people at this price, especially being that it that the high is seven hundred and sixty-seven dollars. I said even if you used to put a hundred dollars into BitTenser at that five hundred and forty something dollar price, it would be like if you'd have found Bitcoin at a price like that, and you'd have put a hundred dollars in, you would be really smiling right now. You would be, I mean, cheesing from ear to ear. Well, BitTenser is the same thing, and, and I feel that way. Uh, I love the project even more, but just look at within nine days, the price swing of this has uh, jumped up to 648 Look at it, actually 651 right now as I'm making this video. And you could have got in at 540 something. So that's just to show you just a uh, seven day. Let's look at the month. Look at this. And this is why I like striking around this area. Look at this. $539 back on March 27th. And now we're up here. And that's just how things swing. It doesn't take a lot of money to make money in cryptocurrency. Love it. Now, for those of you that are new to uh, BitTenser, you know I'm always trying to uh, make sure that I uh, break it down as basic as possible so that you can understand some of this technology that's fly over people's head, even mine at times. And the best thing, you know, I'm the king of analogy, so I have one for you for um, BitTenser. Let's imagine that BitTenser is a, a, a public library. It's a public library, and but it's for machine learning. It's a public library where machines learn. Machines learn. AI Machines learning, you know how advanced AI is getting now. You can type in a question and it gives you an answer. So BitTenser is that library where machines go to learn. And us as people, we donate the books, or shall I say data, for to this particular library for these machines to learn. 
So it's important to re to to really understand that at no time is the library going to take books from our home, which is our computers, shall I say, our data. Hope I'm not losing you with my craziness. But um, at no time is it going to take um, anything other than the data that we give it for privacy reason. Therefore, it's never going to when you when you get into this program. But well, this software is never going to just like go through your computer and take things that it's not supposed to. It's not going to do that. And part of the reason it's not going to do that is because you as a user upload. I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. Uh so the way and, and there's a reason why everyone can do this. It puts it, it makes it fair because where somebody like myself who got like powerful PCs around the house. Uh, that it, it's fair for like me if I was to put my link my computer or whatever to it to the uh, the BitTensor network, and somebody else who maybe has a, a, a older computer, we're both still on the um same level. I don't have an advantage over them because it's not based on your computer. It's based on the uh, information that you upload that you upload to the software and i know they're still developing this software but here's why it's so great and why bittenzer is needed and why it's truly the bitcoin of ai technology it's going to be that central hub i truly believe that because ai is not going away ai is getting really 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 com in incredible complex but it's advancing in ways faster than i believe that even humans have uh ever foreseen it doing but let's just say i'm, I'm using this as a scenario we've already established that BitTensor is basically a library for machine learning where the, where the machines are going to learn from us the humans so let's just i'm gonna give you a great example say a researcher uh a researcher that was uh studying cancer what they could do is they could log in to this software and they could upload images. They could upload different cancer images uh, to the machine learning platform so that the AI models that it creates coming out of BitTensor could learn better ways to detect cancer. And we definitely could use something like that. And it would do that based on the images that these researchers uploaded to the system and, and shared uh, with that library so it would go through these images it would look at these images because we know cancer is just it's a cancer um but we know that it it develops and it comes in places that people never thought it would come and um sometimes it's missed well with the advancement of AI technology and these computers learning when you get a case of cancer in someone that that really uh, stumps doctors where they're like wow I can't believe we missed this they can take images of something like that and they can upload it to this bit tensor they can share that image that um, those images with and the information with this supercomputer and it would teach it to start looking for uh, cancer and sales or different things that uh, it was never thought to be in the past. Or you could go along, and um, and, and that's from the research uh, standpoint, but let's just say you're a marketing company, and you're trying to learn the behaviors of, um, of your customers. You could take an anonymous customer data, remove all of their uh, their identifiers of these customers and you could put that upload that information you could choose to share that information with this library uh with this computer library and it could compute and give you readouts and predictions based on uh customer behavior from the information that you sent up it's truly amazing or i'm taking a step further if you were a farmer, let's say you was a farmer, and, uh, you know, farmers are some of the most, the wisest people when it comes to uh, crops 
knowing how to grow in different weather uh, conditions and different things. If you was a farmer, you could take your computer and you could share weather patterns, your 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 crop yields and your your soil conditions. You could upload that to the computer so that it could train um, AI data models for optimizing your agriculture and would, would make you like a super farmer somebody would have like four or five well like instead of a green thumb you have five green fingers based on the information that you share so if you put everybody you get everybody around everyone even the little guy and that's and and, and by doing this also uh, before i leave out by by doing this sharing this information these people, us, whoever decide to share these type of things, you're going to be paid in BitTensor uh, tokens. Now, imagine that because BitTensor, I'm telling you, it's it's prime to go at least five thousand minimum, five thousand dollars minimum. Uh, and right now it's just six hundred and forty seven dollars. I say just six hundred and forty seven dollars. It's nothing to sneeze at. But when you compare it to a Bitcoin, you say, man, I wish I could have got into Bitcoin at this price. You probably would <laughs> sell a kidney or something to get in. And I say that because a lot of people in the comments are always joking about selling a kidney to get in on some of these games. But it's absolutely true. So I want you, what I want you guys to do is I want you to start looking at these projects with a, a, a different mindset. Sometimes, you know, just forego the price for a minute. And I know I'm always talking about quantity, so you look at something like this, unless you just got some mega bucks, you're not going to be able to get a whole bunch of them. But that don't mean you can't get some of this pie. Some of it. You can get some of this. Uh, and it raised high enough, you can make some serious money on this. It's only ever going to be 21 million tokens. It's only going to be 21 million. And right now, they have a circulating supply of six and a half million out there and it's a uh, it's a mid cap uh it's a mid cap token of the company is it's a mid cap so it's not even a large cap yet it's just it's hovering at four billion but when it hit 10 billion man just think about it now come over here uh i was looking at this oh, no that's their white paper i was looking over here they say bitenzer's price has increased 22 percent over the last over the past 24 hours people 22 percent and it it went up to 705 dollars when i talked about this for the second time that was nine days ago it was 543 dollars i believe could have made some money on that you'd have made some money regardless what you put in that's just this past week an uptick of over 18%. Wow. To its current price, as it stands right now, the coin's all-time high is $757. And we're not even at the halving yet. It's like a week and a half away, maybe a week away from the halving. A week and a half, something like that. Man. So, this is one I wanted to bring to you to just as an example of what we be talking about on this channel and uh man i just think it's crazy on just how these price swings how they how they swing like this and this is nothing is it too late to get in right now no no i got in late, later than this like 670 something dollars and then as it fell and this is this is how i you know how you dollar cost average as the token fell in price down to 540 something dollars I bought some more, $50 here, $100 there, whatever I could um, spare at the time. I would put it in, I was putting it in BitTensor because I knew this was going to happen. So I, this is not a surprise to me, especially with the technology. And I hope those examples I gave you just now uh, kind of let you know what we're dealing with here and why I feel like it's a, uh, it's a good project and why I'm so bullish on it, especially with this this uh token supply you don't have a crazy outlandish uh token supply like you don't have no trillions we only have 21 million tokens man so yeah 
So I think it's a, a good one. And uh, if you want to look back on that video, actually, it'll probably be at the end screen. So you can see what I'm talking about, about the price. And I talked a little bit more about it. But today I wanted to give you um, an analogy. Uh, so you, you can, I try to break it down so you can really understand what we're dealing with with some of this crypto. Because sometimes it does go over people's heads. Anyway, uh, not financial advice, but this is one of my uh, long holds right here. All right, guys. To the next one. I'm out. They did it again. You did it again? Damn, I did it again. I seriously did it again. Uh, where can you buy this token? <laughs> I need to put a sticky up <laughs> to remind people. Uh, remind myself <laughs> to tell people where they're going to uh, buy this token. Right now, um, you can only buy this token on um, Uphold. Which is where I buy it. I buy it on Uphold. And um, I see here you can get it on Binance, Gate.io, uh, Mexi. These are different places you can get it. I buy mine on um, Uphold mainly because it's I always try to, if it's easy. I like to, I don't like a whole bunch of rigmarole roll when it comes to buying these tokens. I like to get in, get it, and get out. So um, pretty soon here I'll have a, a uh, uh, a link for you guys, an affiliate link for Uphold as well for a lot of you. I know a lot of you um, are now going over getting accounts. So I like it over there. It's really, really easy. It's really easy to purchase. Um, but yeah, so you can get it on there. You can get it on Uphold, Binance, Gate.io. All right, this time, I'm really out. Peace.